Designing Your Drags to an Autodesk 2012 Part 2. If I wanted to cut out this uh, rectangle, I would use my extrude tool, use the cut feature, and select only my rectangle. And I would want to make sure I go through the whole distance of the dragster. So if you pick a large number like 4 inches, you know it's going to be far enough. Um, you may want to switch back and forth between uh, materials, so maybe do blue or the actual wood. Uh, we're going to be using pine, so this is what the dragster will really look like. Um, the clear view is helpful so you can make sure that you're not cutting into your CO2 hole. Um, you can perhaps want to round the front of your dragster. You can't have anything thinner than a half inch and you can't have pointed edges. So to do that, if I look at the bottom of my dragster, I can uh, begin to draw a 2D sketch on this view, draw a circle, and again you can't dimension or you can't extrude rather just plain lines so I need to draw outside of the circle to make it a shape on the outside of the dragster and then I can finish my sketch I can extrude and cut this section off um, and if I look at my view instead of adding on to it I'll hit, use the cut feature and it rounds the edges another way to round edges is using the fillet command I can pick certain edges and have them rounded if you would like to use the uh, sander that is a great way to do it so you can see the edges of the dragster are rounded uh, you can also use the chamfer tool, which is like angling certain parts, so perhaps you have this um, in a little bit. If you increase the size of the chamfer, it shows you um, the difference right here. So I might even go a little bit larger than that, maybe one inch even. And that way we want to think of aerodynamics, so how is the air hitting this dragster? This would be a nice design for a dragster, however the back end is still rather large. So I may want to chamfer or even fill at the edge. So to do that, if I hit fill it, I can look at the back of the dragster and select that edge. Again, I can increase the radius of that until I get something that I like. That's pretty good. Um, if I ever decide that I don't like something about my dragster, I can go back over to the browser bar and maybe eliminate something here. Um, either by right-clicking it, I can either edit the sketch, so if I want this to be larger or smaller, um, say I want it to be smaller in nature, or even if I wanted um, to not cut through the whole thing and maybe cut part of it like so, finishing my sketch like that. Um, so it's really up to you. Please save often and save whenever you decide that you like anything that you did and make sure you're saving this as Dragster Design 1. Uh, so then in your file you should have both Dragster Blank and Dragster Design 1.